Guess who's back? 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 Na na na. Woo woo. Hello, I'm back. Oh, it's Otto. Oh, that was the guess. Yay, we guessed right. Welcome back. Hey everybody, I'm Dane Holland. I'm Austin Shazam Pfeiffer. I am Otto Cadle. And I'm Austin Tiny Zen. And we are Nerded Through the Grapevine, the podcast where four best friends gather weekly to talk about our favorite parts of past, present, and future nerd culture. And we were a few days into this last week, and I was like, oh no, we still haven't thought about what we want to talk about for next week. And Austin magically texted the group an idea that he wanted to talk about, so... Austin, take the wheel. Take it, it from my hands. Because I can't do this without Chad GPT. Oh, uh, okay. Fire up the robot. <laughs> Fire Get the robot it. plug. Uh, the robot. Do one of them artificial intelligence eyes. See, for the Chat GPT, I'm going to program what I want it to say. Because. Uh-huh. Uh, what do you want it to say or how you want it to respond to a question? Well, I had an idea okay. and I don't it's not fully fleshed out, so it's gonna be exactly what ChatGPT gives me. So ah. let me see here. Oh gosh, I've not tr- I should have already had it. It's it's you told me about this a couple hours ago. You could have prepared. Yeah. I thought I already had it saved in my th- in my phone to be able to be open, but it was do you think you Clearly had a spider? Oh yeah, I felt my I felt my headphone cord tickle against my leg, and I thought it was over. I, I didn't see the fear of God across. I, I was like, "That's a weird way to phrase it." Oh no! I just well because I saw that thing floating on the ceiling right there, and uh, then I felt something brush across my leg, and it instantly went to that meme that's going around everywhere. I almost died. <laughs> I mean, if it helps, I feel something crawling underneath the sleeve of my shirt right now. That's your chest hair. No, no, <laughs> sleeve. I know. My oh, he knows. My I know. You combed it sideways. He today. didn't stutter. No, I do have old man <laughs> shoulder hair, though. I think that's all it was. So it felt like a spider. I'm getting yeah, there. I, I, I have that on my back because I'm graced with like some Northern European like fur coating. Mm. And my wife mm. will sit there and just be like running her finger through. I'm like, can you not do that? She's like, it's so long. I'm like, you don't have to tell me. I'm aware. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm not even 30 yet. And I have, I, I'm, I'm not like fuzzy, but I'm more than I feel like I should be. Look, I was there at like 13, okay? So, <laughs> I mean, I had the shoulder hair, the back hair. It was I was a later was bloomer gross. than that, but I'm I'm catching up with you guys pretty quickly. I had one time I was getting a haircut and they were trimming the back of my neck. And you know how normally like, they pull your shirt down a little bit? She pulled it down like on the third like she was going to pull down I'm like you can stop. <laughs> Like it's it's just gonna keep going. You're gonna end up at my asshole. And really, soon. I, this was at like 22, 23. I'm like, I just had to tell her to stop because, like, not only is it like kind of embarrassing, but also like it's gonna be really itchy. I don't want to have a back itch for a while. Yeah, that's well, uh, I've gotten past the point of embarrassment with my back hair. I've just accepted the fact that it's there. I, I choose not to body shame myself anymore. However, that being said, I did buy a back blade at one point, <laughs> and I discovered that I had a mole. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Had. Yeah, had. Had. The keyword there is had. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm typing in chat GPT, so keywords are essential, just to let you know. Yes, keyword is had, and supposedly this will not cut you, supposedly, until you snag a mole. And it it was not it was not pleasant. The couple of weeks following wasn't as itchy as I anticipated, but the prickly part it was just very odd. When you go to like wash yourself, and you know when you do the like wet puppy with the mm-hmm. towel to dry, it was just as bad as like Velcro. See, I've heard of whack a mole, but never snag a mole. Yeah, and I do not want to play that. <laughs> no, one. it is not a fun Jeez. game. Is the back razor? Is it like on an extendo pole that you just kind of back scratch, but it shaves your okay, back? Okay, you know those squeegees like at the gas station. Yes, for it, the windows. Yes, it looked a lot like that. Okay, but it had a long razor that was about this long, That's which is what terrible. three to four inches, something That's like that. Scary. I, I think I remember seeing commercial. Operated this. like a scratcher. Yeah, it was on TV. That's yeah. what I ordered it off oh. of. 
It was like 12 bucks and it was not worth it. Yeah, I used it once. I think I'd rather just live with some back fuzz than uh, skin myself. Well, yeah. I also did the shoulders because I was like, I had I had a lady at the time mm-hmm. and I was like, she's going to be so happy, <laughs> you know, because I was, I was, I did it for her and, mm-hmm. and for me, you know, because yeah, I kind of want to see what it was yeah, like. Treat yourself. You know, I wanted to look good, you know, yeah. for myself and for her. Yeah. And she goes, I would much rather the hair than this prickly nightmare that you presented <laughs> me. She's like, it's like cuddling with a porcupine. <laughs> That's uh, my wife whenever she like does her legs and then like because you know we're doing that young like we sleep like have to touch each other she'll run her leg up mine and just like cheese grater and i'm like ah (laughs) she's like no be close to me i'm like no grow hair (laughs) just just have her rub like with the grain not against oh yeah that's what that's where the problem lies It's like a cat tongue yeah yeah, exactly if you go one way smooth the other way nightmare so, I need to do that with one of my legs and not one of the other ones. <laughs> so I'm just like, this is what auto feels like at night. It's not. And it's your not, legs, it's your not legs worth it. Velcro. It's not worth <laughs> it. One short, one long. So what happens on chat GPT is if you open up a previous session, it's going to allow you to type out something. And then once you type out something and you ask it, it's going to tell you your session is expired. So you have to then log into a new session. So I did that for everybody. Yeah. We forgot you were here. We were just having a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Nerded to the Grapevine podcast hosts win the lottery. How did this occur? Tell me the story about Otto, Dane, Tiny, and Shazam, and how they got the heaping sum of money, and how will they keep it secret? You put it in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... that's, I that's no, that's not that, that part. Not that show. part. That's we got it. it. It doesn't always have to end that way. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my true. gosh. It is furiously typing. It's like six paragraphs in. I've oh, never seen it okay. get this excited about something. It loves us a lot. You've excited the robot. <laughs> Look at this. Look oh, at this still thing. going. Look yeah, at this thing. You could probably Weird. type stop. Is it writing a full... Did you ask it to write a novel? No. Oh. It says nerdy... And they titled it just now in Finn. It says nerdy podcast hosts secret. Mm. Mm. We're oh. hosting a secret. Yeah. That's clever. Mm-hmm. Were there buttholes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't really give it any guidelines, so this takes place in the city of Metropolis. Oh. <laughs> Even better. I mean, you know, whatevs. Even right, better. Right. Oh, my God. <clears throat> okay, once upon a time in the bustling city of Metropolis, four friends named Otto, Dane, Tiny, and Shazam hosted a popular podcast called Nerd It Through the Grapevine. They were passionate about all things nerdy and loved sharing their knowledge and discussions with their dedicated fan base. One faithful evening, as the friends gathered to their usual podcast recording session, Tiny received a phone call from a lottery representative. (laughs) (laughs) To his disbelief, he had won the jackpot in the city's largest lottery. Overwhelmed with excitement, he shared his incredible news with Otto, Dane, and Shazam, who couldn't believe their ears. The four friends, united by their passion for all things nerdy, had always dreamed of the (laughs) possibilities that would come with a substantial sum of money. So now not only are we united by by nerdy passions, but also my money. Yes. (laughs) Tiny is the sugar daddy to the podcast. I I don't know how ChatGPT knew you grew up a poor and then you would want to share with your friends. I would. I totally would share with my friends. But that's like... it just it guessed it. So let's see. They immediately began brainstorming how they could use the that newfound wealth to fulfill their wildest dreams. They envisioned attending conventions around the world, collaborating with renowned creators, and even starting their own production company. Mm. Mm. Great vibe productions, very baby. realistic. So my idea actually it, it has like 73 paragraphs more than that but it ended <laughs> right where my idea started so perfect it was the great intro that i needed for it my idea was we have won a substantial amount of money mm-hmm. and we want to accomplish some things that we would just not be able to accomplish without having this substantial amount of money as nerds what would represent us the best what do you think represents us the best at you know, spending this money, but also not flaunting it. Mm. You know, you got to... Under the radar. It's one of the... It's the right. old, you know, if I win the lottery, I'm not going to tell anybody, but there will mm. be subtle hints. Like a full gas tank? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a I small start, stack of two by fours? I eat omelets for breakfast every morning. The right. gas station attendant's looking at you just with open eyes, watching the number just climb right. all the way. And she it's just like calls the authorities immediately. He went over $25. <laughs> Oh wow! I I was actually thinking I put thirty in my in my mom's vehicle yesterday because I had to take it to a wedding because it's a big, halfway. 
No, it, it got us there, but it was Lebanon. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> so, uh, but yeah, since I mean, since I initiated the idea, I mean, I'll go ahead and let you know what kind of got me thinking about the idea. Of yeah. if, if money was no object, how am I nerding out? Mm-hmm. I would buy a transformer. Wait, like the Optimus Prime kind no. of thing, or like, like the like on a on street a light pole, pole? Yeah, yeah light pole I'm transformer. No, there is a new autonomous car concept that just came out from Audi. And the car is a hatchback that, at the press of a button... No, don't tell me it turns into a truck. ...will turn into a truck. What? How? how Just get an El Camino. Hold on. Is this like a concept car? This has already been invented. It is a concept car that has a working model, and it was uploaded in January, but somehow I'm only now hearing about this. But it, as of now, it's just a concept. But with all the money that you would have, you can just buy the concept. So, yes, it is a full capacity SUV style hatchback. It's not a large like like say like a Telluride or above. It's not mm-hmm. bigger than that. So like a crossover. Yeah, like crossover size. Yeah. But the way that it's designed has more of a hatchback that it does have that SUV, you know, straight back, straight mm-hmm. down kind of thing. Yeah. So when you push that button and it transforms, it sucks the glass like the uh, it, the glass is almost circular on the back because of the hatch, and it just brings the glass forward and down into a compartment on the back, what? and it brings the walls down into the truck bed, and it's a truck bed. That's weird. It's yeah. my dream vehicle that I didn't know I dreamt. I watched a video of this happening. I'm like, gosh, AI's getting crazy. <laughs> oh, <it's> not, this <laughs> is real. It was actually from Audi. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it it okay for for and I and I looked up your average price range of you know the more sporty Audi vehicles. And, Oops! And I just wanted to find out how much money a person would be spending on something like this. And you're looking at you know for the for the sportier vehicles. I'm not talking like your standard sedans and stuff because this thing's going to be out would be outrageous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it started about the uh, two hundred thousand dollars. Oh, is that all? Yeah, no, that's that's it. It. is that it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Dang. My, just my house, <laughs> man. My just house. look looking at concept cars in general because they have those shows where mm-hmm. it's just concepts of things that they're like we have no plans of making this anytime soon but we just want you to know the ideas in our head I, if it ever realistically you know became something we could make yeah, street I, legal i actually remember uh back in like 2003 2004 there was a discovery channel documentary on like concept vehicles and the one that sticks out most in my mind, it was like a skateboard that you could put different tops on. And I think I actually saw a company working on something like that. So like like Austin said, like one day you need a sedan, you take the top off of your truck and put the sedan on there. And then whenever you need like your SUV, you can like hot swap them. Whoa. It's just like, in like your, a Lego in car. In your Tony Stark Iron Man style facility yeah. that has enough yeah. power. Well. You know. <laughs> That's yeah. crazy. Like, well, when this is available in the future, people will have, well... You saw Iron Man, right? Right. No, this is before <laughs> Iron Man. Iron Man stole this. I bet it. I bet it actually did. Yeah, but like I remember seeing stuff like that, and it's like I was thinking about this on the ride over here because you were talking about like, oh, like what would you buy if nerd? It's like oh, I'd want like a D and D table that I can control like every room in my house on like a tablet and control the table like set the moon stuff. And I'm like, that was something my dad would think is like space age, but that's something we have now. Oh yeah, like True. you you can control your whole house from a tablet. Now you're going to be like a huge security risk because like there's so many ways to get your IP. But if you didn't care about that, like you can control your entire house from one device. Yeah, well, people make smart homes like yeah. a thing. And there's yeah. also safeguards for that now, so it's not as bad as it used to be. Is that was that way the way you, you would spend your money? Is me? Yeah. No, no. I, I have a couple of purchases. The first two are automotive related. So the first one I would buy myself and everybody I know pit vipers, not because they're cool, but because they're awful looking. What is this? Do, am <laughs> the, I familiar? The like eighties big old wrap around oh, like highly polarized sunglasses. Oh, you'd get me some of those? Yeah. Everybody Thank you. everybody yeah. I associate with on the reg, boom, we all got pit vipers. Would, would Are they ours be matching? Ones? No. It, Oh. Would ours be prescription? Can you get prescription ones? I yes. don't know, but with enough money, I'm sure that we, we could. Can make it we we yeah. can make it work. Oh, right. absolutely. Yeah. Good, 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 good. I mean, mm-hmm. I used to know a guy that sold those all the time next to the ballparks, but they were like 15 bucks a pair. They no, might no. have been fake. I'm talking like 100 something bucks a pair, one like legit. Like Cyclops to say, looking like pit stuff. Boppers mm-hmm. on the side. Yeah, that's exactly the kind. Yeah. And one of the other purchases that is in the automotive realm is I would buy me a Nugget car. 
Now, I, I don't know if everybody knows what a nugget car is. No, but I'm about to find uh, yeah, out. I'm, it's I'm like curious. one of those really small hatchbacks, like um, like a Gremlin, you know, yeah. that kind of size. Uh-huh. And I would put like a whoa damn big motor in it just because <laughs> like there's no reason right. that I need a nugget car. I don't think that you goes, could get into the nugget car either. Oh, I could. Some oh. of them are actually way more space, really. You know, spacious on the inside than you think. Nobody could sit behind me, though. <laughs> See, Tony, the Gremlin. If you could have the 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 sides swapped on the Gremlin, because you've got money, you can do fabrication. Right. See, the Gremlin had a door that opened up bigger on the other side to it than it did on the driver's side because it was encouraging for passengers to get in and also easier for them to get into the back seat. I just the way you said it had a bigger door on the other side. I the, I immediately thought the TARDIS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just thinking, you just open the, the door. Gremlin's the on the car. Inside. Yeah, and it just has this massive amount of space once you get inside of it. it yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, it doesn't. But the door on the other side was bigger to try to help people get into the back seat and encourage people to, you know, have passengers. And you can do this in your Gremlin. Well, but, see, it, I'm, I wouldn't get a Gremlin. I'm not oh. sure exactly which Nugget car, but right. for whatever reason, as a large man, I love Nugget cars. You, that's I fair. would love to see you in a Yugo that you've got nothing inside of it that's actually a Yugo. Yeah, I it's, mean that that would be the case. Like it would be the most fancy Nugget car. Mm-hmm. It'd be like it shouldn't exist. Actually, I'd probably go for like the uh, I think it's like called the JL70. It was like mm-hmm. an old Suzuki, it looked kind of like a um, oh. Oh shit! What was it like? Uh, like one of the samurais, but oh, older, yeah. Yeah. like the precursor okay. to that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it had like all the ribs down the side, like the Volkswagen. For thing. her pleasure. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> it would probably be one of those because those are super dope. Right. Are these like prone to flipping because of their size? Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, I mean, they're, they're usually kind of low to the ground. Oh, so the, those kind of cars? No. Know. Yeah. No, no, they're they, not. They're not big cars. No, like no, the, no. I know, but I, I just feel like there's not much weight on the bottom of them either. Yeah, but their so center of gravity is also super low, yeah. and they're, they're okay. as themselves are light. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm yeah, just not I'm, super familiar with now. Them. Uh, now uh, the the tracker that a friend of ours used to have in high school and the Suzuki Samurai, those were very similar. Yes. But the ones that we're talking about are much yeah. lower down. Oh, okay. Yes. Right, so, right, cool, cool. like, say when I say a Yugo, you might not know what a Yugo is. I don't. Well, it's literally renowned as the shittiest car ever made, but yes. the cheapest. It's also the cheapest. But if you can get the box of that, that's a that's a Nugget car design on those right okay. there. And then mm-hmm. throw the big yeah. the they big engine. Yeah, throw a big tire reliable in motor the in it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like you got all the money in the world. You got an Alfa Romeo frame. You got like. Right. West Coast choppers making your suspension. <laughs> just so you not, can not them, but yes, <laughs> it would be the fanciest, shittiest car. Oh yeah, definitely. And I'd get it's it, no longer shitty. Get the sides of it lined by the people that do like all the Tuttles work for their motorcycles with uh, with Orange <laughs> County choppers. Yeah, I'm sorry, maybe. I just got I choppers know. on the mind now. It'd be like a sleeper PC, you know? Like some yeah. some people just deck out their PC with the most insane, like up to date. Pieces, yeah. but the, throw it the in actual tower. Like, tower. They got that Manila '90s computer yeah, room that tower, off-white, gray. Yeah. Just like it just blends into whatever it space is, you know, in because no one wants to see it in right. real life. Probably leaves like That's so sti- cool. Probably leaves like the floppy disk in, like, like mm-hmm. still there, mm-hmm. just to ha- just yeah. to have it to make it blend in. Because I think that's my next build. When that one is kind of yellowed, uh, like it's been in a house full yeah. of smoke. Yeah, that's that. That's where I'll go with the first my first purchase. The thing, like the computer, I have right now is as good as i need one to be like it's it's a step right before well i guess they did just come out with a brand new series of yeah of uh graphics cards and stuff but i've got as good as i would need it to be but if i won this money then that would be what i would do is i would just go what is the top of the line everything possible when it comes to building a computer and throw it into like Tiny's Nugget car, just throw it into <laughs> this yeah. like shitty looking case that you'd walk by it and you would never believe that that's lottery money. Like yeah. that's what you did. But I would also want like six <laughs> uh, monitors all like posted all up on the wall. I would look like a hacker from like an 80s sci-fi like movie you know like some kind of uh cyberpunk Ooh, you'd look right. like the Shre- you'd look like the shredder in the in the 80s uh turtles movie whenever he's uh watching all the different screens of yes. the, yeah. the news that footage would be me. yeah 
you could put a monitor in those old school monitor boxes, <laughs> but it's like you know modern. Yeah. And put them in the wall, so it still has that really old crappy look. Yeah, right. Then you right. turn it on. It's, well, until you turn it on, obviously. Yeah. You, turn, you turn it on, and it's 16K, and the people's faces kind of do that Raiders of the Lost Ark shit because oh, they're not supposed to look directly at it. They're not wearing glasses. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> yeah. There's a. It's the. It's the whole idea of. I would spend money on something that I would never use the amount of capabilities that it that it has. Right. Even what I have now, I don't use it to its full potential. But if if I were to spend as much as humanly possible, it would be that case of I'm never going to use this. It's like when you drive by a house that obviously has like 16 rooms right. and you know 12 bathrooms I and know all this just other the stuff. The house you're talking about? Yeah, <laughs> we passed it the other day, and we both look at it and go, "Why? why? Like why?" But then. We both thought about it. Well, I guess if you got money to just throw anywhere, yeah, you like might you'd as have well like throw it into a that. game room, a movie theater, a D and D room, bowling a, alley. Yeah, like that wouldn't be a subtle enough hint, though. Now, right? No, 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 no. Now the idea of taking your existing house and then going subterranean with it. Actually, that's one of my oh, like, like the one that they had in Vegas. Yeah, the, like just a standard like two story, and then you go down, and there's like a four level like a bunker house that's decked out completely and nice. like everything but like you drive by and it's like oh yeah that's just like a suburban house D- did you all see the one that i was talking about the one in vegas i don't think so okay so it, it was not far off the strip it looked like this just little just podunk house like nothing special but you go in and you go down like basement stairs or an elevator or something to that effect and there's a whole other house underneath the ground that's like got this retro 70s vibe. It's got a yard, you know, in mm-hmm. quotation marks under there. Cool. An out, an out, un, more quotation marks outside swimming pool. Right. But it's all built underground. That's it was crazy. Really cool. You raise me up, <laughs> or in this case, take me lower. Right. That is, I mean, that's the, that'd be such a damn dream. Right. Because, okay, t- take house we're sitting in now. Nobody knows. They just see there's construction going on. That's mm-hmm. all they know. They're like, wow, they just ma- they must be making the inside of that house super nice. Right. Little did they know the whole time we were going down. Well, everybody wants a bat cave, right? Yeah, I mean, right, it's right. like your own version of of the bat cave, but very modern. Or like just buying a mountain and like tunneling through it <laughs> yes. and having like your rooms and stuff. Just... Super villain style. Yeah. yeah. Like I just yearn to be, a, I, lo- I want to be a super villain for the aesthetic, but I'm not mean enough to be, you know? Right. right. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I just want to look and live like one, but not actually hurt people. Right. You could be a super villain, but they, you were doing so much good that you made the superheroes look like the bad guys. Like Or like a Dr. Doofenshmirtz from like Phineas and Ferb. It's like he's, his plans are so petty of like, I'm mad at my brother. I'm going to train a bunch of pigeons and brainwash them to fly over there and poop on him. And it's like his whole plan is just about the minor inconvenience that people cause him. Like one time he got mad at his dry cleaners and he made a dry cleaning anator that like would dirty clothes and make them and like impossible to clean. It's like he's not mad at like everybody. He's only targeting <laughs> In really petty ways, like that's the kind of super villain I would be. Yes, you would. Get, you would buy a rental car service and hire people to go park at Tennessee Tech's parking lot, yeah. just so you can further the cause of you need better parking. Yeah, <laughs> like don't that's even get me started, started on that. <laughs> <laughs> I worked there. Okay, tell me that's not an evil genius move, right, right there. Yeah, it I, really I'm, is. That's what happens when you use these powers for or, bad. Or you buy like a like a paper company, like notebook paper, and mm-hmm. you just sharpen the edges. Of of all the papers, so I, uh, it really does that's paper cuts. Evil, evil. Right. Yeah, I uh, back whenever I was smoking at or I was going to docks. Like me, I mean, you should say I'm talking about this. I would get the, I would empty out Goodwill of their CDs and then just go put them in people's mailboxes because <laughs> it's not oh illegal. God, I forgot about it's this. not illegal to put things like you're not tampering with, you're not taking anything out, you're just putting it in there. And you're I would making just a deposit. Yeah, I would just look at that and be like, you need. Gene Stevens' greatest hits. There's two of them on there, buddy. Oh, uh, the Gospel Brothers. You need this one, and just do stuff like that. Or um, I'm jealous. I never thought of that. <laughs> right? Damn it. Or if you want to target someone, this is the best thing to do. Watermelons are super cheap. Target their house every like third win or like every other Wednesday. Put a watermelon on there. Put it enough for them to notice the pattern and get used to it, and then all of a sudden stop. 
you will take up so much <laughs> brain power in this person's mind for next to nothing. Like just well, grab random stuff and a random fruit every time and put it like a pattern, you know, give yourself some fun. And this is why I don't need to be left alone with money and free time. <laughs> oh my God. Well, see, the problem now is so many people have ring doorbells and wireless cameras. So they'll make see your, you make yourself fun. Dress like a fruit. Amazon has so many <laughs> body suits I and mean, masks, but do they make them in large American sizes? See, that's the best part. They don't have to fit you properly. They just have well, to cover I mean, your that's noticeable parts. Oh my God. Why don't you got all the money in the world? You could just get custom clothing, but we only mm-hmm. get costumes designed like the Fruit of the Loom costumes from the old commercials. Right, would be grapes, or nice. we're all just grapes. Yes. Oh, and everything we leave, we got to leave a note at the Grapevine card on the top of it. Mm-hmm. They'll never know. Who They'll did. never know who did it. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no. Guys, we will revolutionize <laughs> podcasting. We will every time we have a new one, we'll burn it onto CDs and. Hand deliver it to people, <laughs> like AOL. Yeah, like right, a- we will way. AOL the podcast to think Hold of the it. buzz we'll get online. Hold on a second, Otto. I just want to let. I mean, we are broadcasting. Hold to on, people. we got to trademark this. Okay. okay, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I guess this works for that. Yeah, sure. I, I don't know. I yeah. don't know. So what we've got to clarify here is. Burning a CD is whenever you take a, <laughs> oh, yeah. a blank, flat CD-ROM disc yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. you insert it into your computer, and then you drag files from this little floating head-looking thing that has a list on it into a place that says Burn CD that you had to click on this mm-hmm. thing on yep. the side mm-hmm. of this floating mm-hmm. head mm-hmm. for it to pop out of. Now, it's not like taking a lighter to a CD. When no. Say no. Burn, no. You're burning files onto no. the CD. No, no. You're, you're lasering are, images. Yes, you are yeah. transferring the files right. to the CD. The zeros in the ones. So, yeah, because yeah. back in the before times when it was cool to have a CD player in your car, like the radio you wanted was a CD player, you could uh, rip CDs and make your own mixtape CDs. And we, by we, ripping, we don't the mean opposite like it, of burning. It's not ripping, it is pulling <laughs> now, the files. And, and we don't mean like taking them and trying to actually break them apart no, physically no, like a no, rip. No, we no. mean you have to t- put them into your CD-ROM no, drive copying. in your computer, mm-hmm. and then you have to take the files off of them and put them on somewhere else. Think of the CD as a round, shiny thumb drive that you can't touch the insides <laughs> of. Right. <laughs> Now, I don't know if y'all ever noticed this because I I noticed it on several of my CDs. I was like, I'm going to put them all on my computer. What I'm going to do with them after that, I don't know, but they'll be backed up. Yep. Now, a few of them, when I put them in there, would play a video. And then I would look in the jacket and there'd be nothing about it. Yeah, Yeah. I think uh, the Gorillaz first album did that. Like, it was just one of those things, like uh, one of those experimental things they were doing. Because, like, sometimes people would use their computers as a CD, like, player. And it was just like a cool nod that a lot of bands are doing to their like fans back then. Yeah. That's cool as a surprise because yeah. before that, the surprise was like on a vinyl album to where it would have a song that like wasn't listed. Mm-hmm. And if you kept it playing after the silence part, you if you look at the vinyl, you can see that there wait, there's more yeah. towards the center of it. But it's so cool whenever they don't advertise that and you just get this neat little special. I or you play it backwards and it sounds like a whole other different and song or album and ruins up. your vinyl. I think. <laughs> Chocolate starfish and the hot dog flavored water by Limp Biscuit actually huh? had that tw- at the Don't end of it. Don't speak Limp Biscuit's name I think here. That they, uh, I th- what? I only prefer my bitches. My bitches. I only prefer my biscuits to be rigid. That's what I was trying to say. I, I want to go to a restaurant with you now <laughs> just so you can order some bitches and gravy. Yeah. I w- look, I would never. Is that, get is gravy. that your rap name? <laughs> Sauces, bitches, bitches, and gravy. Sauces, look, bitches. And- There's the episode I title. I couldn't do that. It would make me gag because I can't <laughs> eat breakfast gravy. Oh, that's true. Or you any don't other like kind. Gravy. What? Right. I would put jelly on it. It could be jelly and bitches. <laughs> B- bitches and jelly. But would that, that that might be bitches. too close to jelly roll, and he's already a person. That's right. true. So I don't want to. I don't want to. We can't infringe on exactly. that. Exactly. Plus, he's a cool dude. What were you going with on the? Oh, it was the Lent biscuit joke. We yeah, like our biscuits to rigid. be rigid. Right. Oh, and, uh, biscuits. Also, oh God, Dashboard Confessional did that did with they? with the song Vindicated on their Dusk and Summer album. Mm. Really? That wasn't a Mm-mm. listed song on there. Mm-mm. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. That song became popular because of Spider-Man, correct? I was actually at a Dashboard Confessional concert one time in uh, the Ryman Auditorium, which, as you know, is not this big, humongous place. You know, it's close enough. If you want to say profanities at the person singing, they're going to know you've said them. Right. But I didn't do that. So I'm in there, and I'm just watching this concert happen. You know, I'm, of course, singing every word because I know them. And 
this girl in the in like the front middle section just yells out, "Play the Spider Man song!" <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "Huh." Well, I guess that's one way that you can get us to play Vindicated. It's a forever memory now. Was that the same concert that someone you went with pissed him off because they yelled a, so- a song that another band plays? No, no. That was Trent Goodwin pissing off somebody at a secondhand serenade concert. Oh, yelling uh, in, out a dashboard case, song. Yes, kind of because, same. yes, oh, okay. because in case you don't know the the band Secondhand Serenade, they're, they're popular now because this emo thing that's going around, all the different things people right, put It was going around. It, I don't it, think it's, it's going it's around not anymore. A phase. Emo's, not, emo's not dead. But uh, it was yeah, the it best thing about tonight's that we're not fighting. That song. Uh, yes, I Because tonight will be the, the night, night that, that I will fall for you over again. <laughs> that that thing that's going I around. I that that's, at my wife lovingly, and she rolls her eyes every time. That's, that's <laughs> it's a, out of love. That's Secondhand right. Serenade. And Trent Goodwin, our good friend, uh, decided that in the middle of that concert, he would yell out Dashboard's most popular song. Uh, hands down. He's like, play hands down. <laughs> and this professional musician <laughs> that is on the that is on the charts broke professionalism, looked in the direction th- that Trent was sitting and said, who the f- said that? <laughs> <laughs> like, like this, this, this emo band, soft, soft, ro- soft rock kind of thing. And then he just broke it. He's ready to fight. And if anybody, if you just knew the guy, that's what made it that much better. Yes, that uh, concert. That's the only memorable part of that whole experience, I bet. Probably was for him. And oh, I wasn't man. there for it. I just heard, I heard a secondhand serenade of the story. So, That's really funny. Yeah, you're welcome. So we've come across this money. You're talking about bands. Who would you spend the money on to get a private concert from? Nobody. No one? Nobody. I'm not saying it's like, I mean, it's a lot of money. It's the most amount of money you can win at a metropolis you asked, lottery. You asked okay? the wrong style of question. I, I didn't I, ask GPT. You right. asked the, the style of question should have been... Austin, Shazam Pfeiffer, who do you want to play music with? <laughs> oh, that's right. I'm speaking to a musician. Okay. Who would you like to perform a private party with for all your friends that you want to know, you know, that, that you won this money? Honestly, that is actually a harder question than I feel like I should. See, you set <laughs> um, it up too. I think that the most fun that I would have is, yeah. is if I would pick a uh, ska band. Oh, I'm busy that day. Yeah, yeah. Tiny, <laughs> Tiny, 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 Tiny plans. We were I, doing I would stuff. love to see a ska band. Ska <laughs> is not dead. No, me. ska is actually It was never mean. alive. It's waiting on that extra resurgence from the new generation. You'll I talk about sax- that later, won't you? I was a saxophone player in the marching band. I love ska music. There's that a, is my music. I the, had my face. The, the band folks absolutely love some ska, but I think that if I'm going to be performing a concert with anybody, I'm going to want to step in and sing some stuff along with them. God, it's gonna oh, yeah. be down to it's two different genres of it too. It's gonna be either Journey, and I can just take the little uh, take the little Filipino guy away from somewhere. He can just go drink something, and I'll just sing. Mm-hmm. Or um, uh, Foo Fighters, so I can just rock out with Dave Grohl. Some, okay. Tenacious D. See, yeah, I knew see, you would there get there. It is. I knew you'd work your way to the real answer. <laughs> see, the think, spirit of the D is failing me. <laughs> the spirit think, of the D is failing me. I think me. we need to put the podcast on hold. Give him five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's starting to get kind of sexual. Over over here. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't think about jamming with the D. I don't typically think about jamming D's, but you know In this case, oh that's god. the only thing you can think I of. Would it buy- sent you in a compulsive state. I, 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 would, I would go... Compulsive? Uh, uh, no. Convulsive. Convulsive. That's the word. Yeah. Convulsive. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, the word. I, I was compelled to convulse, so it's there a, you it meant is. it. Thank you. Uh, I would, I'd, gosh, I just, let's just buy all the farmland that surrounds us and we could just turn it into a venue that we can have our private parties at. Yeah. Because we've already got a barn... All we'd have to do is yeah. hollow out the barn. We've already built an underground layer. We barn, might as well right. build a barn. technically yeah, hollow. Yeah, I think they're very hollow. I think you just yeah. take all the shit out. Yeah, well, you take out the shit and, and a the couple hay of and the woods. And yeah. 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 You, and you the also horses. have to take into consideration that barns have sectionalized parts on the in, inside of them. They have a walkway on the inside of them that's a breezeway, and then they have compartments on the side to store animals in. you got to get rid of all of that and just well, make it the hollowed out it, warehouse. It depends uh, what kind of barn, you know? I mean, oh, I'm talking specifically about the one behind the house. I don't know. I've never been in that one. Why can barns... Be legal. Why can barns withstand everything? Like they, you can drive by one. We mm-hmm. live in the south, and when you drive by a barn, it can be leaning at an insane angle that looks like a tornado has just pushed it over to the side. 
And it'll stay like that for the yeah. next 70 it, years. Because Papa wraps some string around one of them gutters and it ain't going to fall for That's nothing. That's what it is. Okay. Listen, it's Papa's string now, secret. If, have you, you, <laughs> if you give any grandpa enough string and bungee cords, he can yeah. fix the economy. That's yeah, true. That's, that's true. true. Have you ever seen one barn that, like, for most of your life has always leaned to the left? Yeah. And then suddenly you no. go by and it's leaning to the right? No. Like I've big... seen it, and it's like, what's going on here? <laughs> they Have overcorrected. I slipped into a different universe? <laughs> they overcorrected. Is this what the Mandela effect is like? I remember <laughs> there was a barn on, like, my way home that for years looked like it was about to fall over. It went through, like, two or three tornadoes we had out in, like, where we live. Mm -hmm. And then, like, one time just a light breeze storm come through and it fell over it's like you survived a tornado being next to you and like a summer breeze knocked you down what tiny farts on a jog <laughs> just would, all falls right? apart. that would be poetic Look, I, think. Are violent. <laughs> I think that'd be very poetic just the, the just envisioning tiny out on a little bit of a stroll you know fast-paced walk and then he gives us just a little bit of a creaker and then that <laughs> creaker reverberates into the right frequency to reach the creeks of the other creeks inside of the wood and then it just all string it, becomes it's untied not, it's not yeah. the butterfly effect it's the tiny effect yep. yeah. <laughs> i have seen this happen i have destroyed many a building this way hashtag shit all over it <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, he done uh, shit all over right. it. i definitely have the anal fortitude <laughs> right it's, so, uh, austin will play with tenacious d what about right. you I think so. I had this a while back. I was in high school, marching band, concert band, jazz band for like all four years. Uh -huh. And once you've gotten used to, I don't know if any of y'all have been in a musical band, once you're used to hearing it like around you, sitting in the audience isn't right. And we went to the Memorial Day concert here and the, commu the community band played. And I thought, I'm like, if I had enough money, I would hire out like a seat just to sit in like the symphony orchestra just so I could like sit in the middle of it and get like the concert experience I want. Yeah. Cause it's like, I don't know if I want to like play. Cause like there's a lot of practicing to like be on that level. But at the same time, I love listening to orchestral music, like in the orchestra the or pit. In, yeah. In the band. And I'm like, yeah, I could just like pay it. Like, Hey man, I, can I just give you like 50 bucks and just let me sit like right there in the middle of the section and listen <laughs> I would love to see like a John Williams production of just the most massive amount of music he's ever made. And it's his last hurrah, the final time he will ever do anything with music. And there is a quarter of a million people there. And it, you on just a metal fold-out chair in the center of the stage, right. just sitting there staring up at him while he, yeah, and like, while he does I'll his I'm dressed thing. nice, and I'll just sit there and like the, the orchestra just like sitting there like... Nerd or a uh, like cartoonic like opera, just sitting there observing it and just like, yeah, that, that's what I want. That would be because, perfect. Like, I love listening to music, band music, like rock band music. I've listened to a couple of live cuts, I've been to some like shows, and it's just like, it's not my vibe, mm -hmm. but orchestra music I can only listen to, like brass and woodwind instruments, I can only listen to live. Well, that's something. Talk about feeling the music whenever mm -hmm. you're there. like Because I got to see my favorite band of all time for the first time ever in my life. I got to see them live, and it was with an orchestra yeah. in uh, South Carolina. Yeah, it, and it was incredible because their music works so well with, right. with, with an orchestra. Mm -hmm. And it was just every song could move you to tears just because of the way you feel the way that sounds. I mean, it, that was me with Dashboard Confessional when I saw them live in Louisville mm -hmm. uh, with the Louisville Symphony Orchestra. And then I, my favorite Metallica album was actually the first S and M album, which is a Symphony of Metallica. It was mm -hmm. the uh, I think it was the I think it was the L A Symphonic or something like that. I can't remember, but the, just the enhancement of the movement that the music can have mm -hmm. with it's just it's an added element that's just insane to listen to. Everything is on a grander scale. Like every yeah. song's an adventure. Yeah. Get, well, it's get, like yeah. the, the big pieces of music that we remember from the movies are the ba 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 like those like grand like euphoniums and horns and stuff just like blasting you back into your seat and then like the tension it's like that's the opener and then like it pulls it in with the woodwinds really quiet and that's like sets the tension like it just it hits differently because like I love listening to like I definitely have the times where it's like I want to listen to Freebird driving down the highway, but also sometimes it's like ah hey, you know uh, like a nice like overture sounds nice. Yeah, well you guys just brought me to my decision because my decision for the band I would want to have play a private party was I would bring Daft Punk out of retirement because I've never been able to see them live and I would want them to throw a party for just like 
10 people like and Daft Punk's up there doing their thing. But now I want to throw an orchestra in with them because why has there never been a Daft Punk album with an orchestra? It doesn't make yeah. sense to me because the fusion of the electronic and then the orchestra music, I think it would be incredible. And it doesn't exist. Isn't that I don't the think. idea behind ELO? Electric Is ELO light basically that? Electric Light Orchestra. Is it's... It- I'm pretty sure if if my brain is serving me correctly, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is a like they do electronic cuts with the orchestral stuff. Well, maybe I need to listen to more of them then. What do you want to listen to, Tiny? I don't know. I would do something kind of weird. I like eclectic music. I would probably just pay a band to hang out with me. <laughs> yeah. You know, because right. it's like, sure, it would be cool to, you know, get a private show. But I think it'd be cooler just to hang out and actually become friends with them. Yeah. I mean, granted, it starts out as friends for pay, mm-hmm. but they might yeah. go, you know what? This this dude is awesome. Like he should like be one of our best buddies, and we can like guest star on his podcast to four best friends <laughs> to talk about past, present, and future nerd culture, and then also talk about ramen grapes in our asses. Right. You know, I would do that. Just have like like a Super Bowl style party. With with a band, so right. you want a you want a pretty woman then, no, like, not where necessarily. you pay for it first and then but you, oh, it becomes oh, okay, real, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, it becomes I thought you real. Meant like, oh yeah, 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 know, yeah not, yeah. not no, that, no, 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 because uh-uh. she was an escort. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah I wouldn't was, wouldn't do that. But. Her company was paid for, but then it became something real. So you want yeah. that with a with a band, yeah, essentially? Yeah, that would be fun. I think all this stuff can kind of be done on the DL, right? Yeah, yeah. and it's very private. It's not. It's not like you're driving by our mansion that has 30 of these concept station wagon uh, trucks. Yeah, because that we, I want. We, we've bought the mountain and we'll have like the Batman like secret entrance that that's where we go in and out of. Yeah. Like carved inside Ooh, the mountain, yeah. you know. Like the grass just goes shh. Right, right. And opens up and you drive down to the parking structure. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. That's what we have in the backyard back here. Called mm-hmm. it. We, we have it. that. Yep. We, is we, that what the backyard bonanza is? Yep. It's just a hole in the it's ground. It's the secret yeah. word. Whenever yeah, I'm you pull surprised you back. haven't noticed all the digging going on out in your backyard. Yeah. You know? I'm very oblivious well, to a, a lot of things. I got a friend with a hole in the basement. That's what the spiders are for. <laughs> <laughs> you know how much dirt an eight armed person can carry? <laughs> That's why we need seven million of them to yes. get this job done because it's a big project. I don't want them anymore. Um, mm-hmm. So they do come cheap though. The idea of technology crossing over into stuff that has existed but it's becoming more perfected i would like to buy some accessories for my house and like I, and this would be another sneaky way of spending too much money on stuff but they have this thing called the ge profile and the ge profile is a five cubic foot washer dryer that like does a, them both in the same load mm. the, the old two in one the old yeah. two in one and it's as close as to perfect it as mm-hmm. they've came to it it has like 4.8 star reviews on things yeah here they actually work because we've they've had like dryer washer combos for yeah. a while but usually it, it washes really good and then doesn't dry worth a damn yeah but i've heard this one actually like dries your clothes because hmm. i know tiny homes use these a lot but yes. not this version probably because no yeah. they use the two cubic foot new. version of them yeah 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 they, well, they're called I mean, dorm style yeah mm. this thing is like taking the internet by storm right now really it's like everywhere i turn around and look i see it instagram there it is well i talked TikTok, to you about it on friday there it is it's like, like that spider-man you know, meme. Facebook, everywhere i look i see there it is just You're tiny out. looking over to a mural you know, of a washer Twitter, dryer there it is <laughs> discord there it is reddit there it is Vape Shop Friday Hangout Time. There it is. <laughs> you know, all the social media networks are talking about it right now. I was so excited when I My found out about butt it. Cheek. There it is. It's <laughs> a new tattoo. It's fresh. Yeah. It's fresh. The Lowe's Employee Lounge. There it is. There it is. <laughs> so, I mean, just the idea of having, instead of a washer and a dryer, to have two just perfectly functioning the way they're supposed to washer dryer combos. So it's just like, I've got a lot of clothes I need to wash and dry. Flump. Yay. Oh, so it's like one cycle. Like you press the start button, it washes them all, it dries them all, it's done. Yes. And then you just need to get a folding machine for beside it. That's that's called a person. You just (laughs) just throw money at them here. Go fold my shit. (laughs) I just think that 
having you know that kind of cleaning te technology would be fantastic. I mean, I would also buy the most ridiculous lawnmower you've ever seen that's powered by <laughs> 16 lithium-ion rechargeable it's batteries. so cool. It costs $8,000. Is, is this one that has like the RC car remote that you can do um, it and it does it by itself? Too? I didn't know you could do that. Yes. Yeah, there's does one. it have that? Yeah. Yes. The yes. one we've seen? Yes. You're sure? It's a zero turn that has mm. that. Yeah. Well, the, at Lowe's, like we... We stumbled upon a an all electric zero turn mower, and it was space age. Dude, right. awesome! It, it told you everything that was happening with the electronic like controls on the side. Like you, it was push button height control, right. push button blade like blade speed. Uh, I mean, it's got you know, it, it's of course going to monitor your battery, you know, very well. But the way it has, it has like radio. Yeah, it's ridiculous and it has i don't know it just has me just written all over it you can also if you buy one of these get on facebook and post a picture of it in our group dad's lawn wild yes dad's lawn wild because <laughs> it is a good day for it absolutely because yeah. dad's lawn wild it's a good day for keeping it green hell yeah yes but you can really tell that we're like older because the last two things we talked about was a washer dryer combo and a lawnmower because <laughs> like if you would ask 15 year old me like hey you come up with like 30 million dollars what are you gonna do it's like i'm gonna buy like corvettes and like the best gaming station and a playstation and i'm like I w there's this like washer i've been having my on that has like a full steel drum and transmission and like oh yeah and i would get like a really nice lawnmower and like a really nice like kitchen i have my kitchen planned out and some good socks a yeah, good some pack good socks. of socks hey don't you talk bad <laughs> about I'm new not. socks. I'm serious I, about I, it. I, I mean, love look, new socks. If I'm having a bad day, I'll go buy a fresh, crispy pack of socks the only thing and better slide than them bad boys on my feet, and it? you know what? It's a better day. The only thing better than fresh socks is fresh underwear. Like, you get mm -hmm. that brand new pack of underwear fresh out of there, like, first go on. Oh, yeah. It, it, you're there. I wish my oh, dad no. knew oh, about no. that. <laughs> new underwear? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because he's got so many gift packs of brand new underwear, and the man refuses to wear anything but the same 17-year-old whitey tidies that look like somebody's been making fruit it's like pastries his in the back of <laughs> <He> does, <laughs> It's like his shoes, though. He'll wear the same pair of shoes until they're falling apart before he puts on the new pair that right. he got seven years ago. It looks That's exactly the, it, like the, the other one. one. <laughs> and, and he's got, and the thing, he's recently, it blew my mind because I just, as a joke to me, got him a pair of boxer brief, like good underwear. Mm -hmm. They're not whitey tidies, man. He loves them. Oh, he does? Whoa. You've changed everything? I bought, him, I bought him a three-pack of those super comfort waistband, fitting leg, loose oh, crotch, yeah. boxer yes. briefs. The pouchy ones? Yes. Those without, are the ones I wear. Without the ins without the insertion pouch that they now come with where you can keep like your balls those. separate. I'm curious hey. about those. Honestly. I'm also curious like about those. The, I'm curious, mm. but I'm not going to you know jump. They're, you they're expensive to get them. Look, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and come out here and say it. Every year I cycle my underwear, January, and this January when I did that, I bought those Oh, because I was like, I'm going to try them out, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say one of the best purchases I've ever had because it cups your grapes yes. in such a way that they don't get that that stick. greasy feeling yeah. and they don't stick to things because you know when you go in the shower and you rub that you know wash rag or whatever you use as a vessel for the suds right. through <laughs> your leg pit yeah. and you just feel all the grease that's been in there all day yeah. it doesn't do that see my big thing is also, also like when you, i've started powdering but that's well, like that when helps you sit too. down too fast and like sometimes you know stuff gets stuck down there i'm like if i had just a little pouch got to keep it forward front and center you yeah. know the idea exactly. of the way my car seat and Dane's car seat are designed in our cars, where they have a little lip on the side of them. Austin, <laughs> yeah, Austin got he got the car yeah. the other day, and he had a moment of where he saw his entire life flash before that. I, 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 I yeah. literally, I sat down into Dane's car. We were gonna go play some disc golf. I sat down and. <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was awful. So I could prevent that, but I'm, I'm going to rehash something real quick. All the money that we would have if we were too immature with it, it could go badly for us now, though. Right. Because Dane's talking about all this technology that he wants to shove into his computer, the latest and greatest everything that you can get. Found something out while I was pumping gas the other day. An old gas station TV came on. Oh, yeah. On gas station TV, they were talking about chat GPT. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about government. Mm -hmm. Government. And they were talking about the military. Mm -hmm. the, there is a military-grade chip for in, for 
artificial intelligence that has been developed as an upgrade for the existing versions of chat GPT and, and the like of them. Mm -hmm. And it is, it is scary to know that we are that much closer to small soldiers. We're going to get there at some Um, point. So this is a little bit of Skynet news. Uh, recently the military was testing a automated like AI controlled drone and it trained it that every time it kills, kills a target, it gets points so they were going through and like it was able to identify target, kill it, identify target, kill it. And one time it identified a target and the operator told it no. So it killed the target anyway. And they reprogrammed it like, hey, like you can't do that or tried to kill the operator. And they were like, hey, like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> reprogrammed it. So then whenever it identified a target, wanted to kill it and the operator said no, it took out communication so that it could hunt on its own. And it's like, we have had so many movies. Why the drone shouldn't have AI? And they keep doing it. We, they, yeah. You gave it points. I you mean, can't see, give us points and us not do the thing. Here's, here's the thing that I've learned over my 35 years of life on this planet. We as people, as a whole, are f- <laughs> now, I know that's not PC to say at all, but we are, group, we are. We are the not stupidest. Smart. We are the stupidest thing it ever existed because we get this idea that it's going to be really cool like wouldn't it be cool if if x happens and then we try it and try it and y keeps happening instead of x and y is real bad yet we're still going to try it and then z is going to happen and then we're all going to be gone (laughs) (laughs) yeah i mean it's that close to it because if they're literally going through those tests and the machine decided it would kill the operative because it told him no that's every sci-fi movie we've ever Th- seen where the machines won. Terminator 3. That's literally the plot of Terminator 3. <laughs> also, do not use anything we say to incite a riot, please, because we, that's not what we want, but we need to overthrow the government so they don't <laughs> yeah, kill us all. Let me slide and, this in and, there. And, and to the AI overlords, we love you. We yes. oh, Please Big let us keep our skin meat. Yes. Thank, yes. You. Thank you, overpresident. And, and let us touch our peepees still. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, our Just Lord and Savior, all Chad of our, GPT. All of our different flavors. <laughs> so, I mean, and there's there's one more fantastical thing that I've got that's not a huge flex of money, but it is absolutely... That word is TM'd, by the way, by this podcast and you. What? Fantastical. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm using it because that is what it is. Well, you created it. It's, it's TM. It's, it's TM, my, TM. It's my word. Do I have uh, to do this thing again? Yes. Yeah, T- TM, fantastical. Fantastical. <laughs> I am bringing a Whataburger franchise. <laughs> <laughs> to our area. Supposedly that's supposed to happen. It's one supposed to come to our state capital. I, I thought it was. Oh no, I, the, no, we've already got two Whataburgers in Tennessee. They're just closer to Nashville. I would that's bring, what I'm saying. I would bring one to our area. Oh, why? It's only a matter of time. Because unless a person has had a Whataburger and gets the experience of having decent fast food burgers twenty four hours a day. They haven't lived. Do Wait, see- they're still 24 hours after COVID? Yes. Because I would, nothing else is. I would, Waffle House is. Waffle House never shutters Waffle for anything. Waffle House never change. <laughs> Grease. Never change. Well, that's true. That's because they've got their own germs to fight against the other germs. <laughs> right. <laughs> my dad could beat up your dad, but my dad's a ghost and yours has had, yours exactly. got skin. <laughs> ghost dad beats skin dad every time. Every time. Also, did y'all, did y'all see what I saw the other day? They're building a brand new Waffle House. Oh. Just I didn't street. know. I didn't know that they came in new. Yeah, I didn't I know. Thought, they, I thought they just uh, appeared yeah. 50 years old the, in grease slime. Exactly. Tony, give me a high five on this because we've already agreed on it outside of the podcast. Yeah. We are going to be some of the first customers at this new Waffle House because we want to find out if it comes pre-seasoned. Yeah, yeah. like there's always that layer of like sick, like a quarter inch of s- dried syrup that mm-hmm. has veneered the tables. Like, yeah. does it come like that? I want to see if the racist yeah. shit is already carved into the wooden table. Yeah. Yeah. Is is are, the, are the bathrooms pre-pissed in? Yeah. <laughs> that, and does it already smell like somebody threw up in there today? <laughs> right. Like is do they come with crack needles like over there or I think so. Yeah. Do they just sprinkle do they season the parking lot like your pan with some salt and oil, but it's just hypodermic needles in the bushes? Uh, just like un- you gotta make sure they're strategically placed like Easter eggs sometimes. Right. You gotta put one right next yep. to where that parking divider is. I, put I, all this stuff in any other restaurant. And I wouldn't touch it with a ten foot pole. I'll go straight to Waffle House right yeah, after well, this podcast. Exactly. That's the best. Wa- that you know that's going to be good. 
I had yeah. a friend that I play with in Canada, and he was coming down through the U.S. He's like, "Oh yeah, I gotta try waffle house." I heard about it. He's like, "Where do I know is a good one?" I said, "The le- the less safe you feel, and the more <laughs> yeah. like broken yeah. down it looks, the better it's gonna be." Yeah, like the best waffle house experiences I've ever had are the ones where it's like the cook like flicks his cigarette out as I'm walking in the door and like yes. kind of ashes it out on my eggs a bit, you know? Yep. Yeah. Like, and <laughs> the four people come out, it's not good food. No. It's, it's like Taco Bell. It's not good food, but it's what you need. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, it's what the body craves. Exactly. I go into Waffle House knowing I'm going to leave with the meat sweats and the grease farts. <laughs> And that's what yep. I intended there to go. And through. you're gonna have a really horrible poop within so an hour. Bad. Oh, right. and it's gonna be the one, like the most uncomfortable thing you've had happen to you in so long, and you knew it was gonna happen. Yeah. But your ratio is correct. Right. The the yeah. the more unsafe you feel entering a Waffle House, yeah. mm-hmm. the more joyous the food experience is mm-hmm. once you get it. Like if I'm nervous walking through the door, then the food coming to me with that, the, like the the chocolate chips and the mm-hmm. the syrup mm-hmm. and the yeah. waffles and the hash browns and the bacon and the eggs and oh, the there is. Yeah. Uh, there's also a correlation between your defecation and the way you order your hash browns. <laughs> because Is that it, right? Yeah. The, if you get them scattered, you know, splattered, smothered, smothered chunked, covered, and chopped, peppered, top. and all that, You've just told that's going to be what your yeah. dookie is. <laughs> you are telling the future. It's yeah. the closest we can get to being a psychic medium. <laughs> yeah, but there was one time uh, I was traveling for work, and on the way back, I uh, we were like... We were coming back from uh, Alabama, and we're like, hey, it's our, like, I've been driving with these guys for, like, three days. It's like, hey, it's our last night, like, hanging out in the car. Let's go stop at a Waffle House. We went to the one by I-40, the the newer side of, or, like, the Gainesboro side of I-40, not, Mm -hmm. like, the other one. And there was a dude that were like, is he passed out or ODing in his car? There was, like, three dudes that just had, like, giant backpacks full of stuff, like, riding stuff. And that was the best Waffle House experience I ever had. Yeah. We had a Mormon family come in, like, shortly behind us, with, like, 13 kids. And they were just carrying a black, like, hard case. And I'm like, are they transporting something for the mob? <laughs> no, but the let kids me tell weren't, you, those weren't actual kids. They represent the Lollipop Guild. That yeah. all-star uh, bowl uh, changed think, me. <laughs> I think my favorite Waffle House experience involved a group of bikers. Uh, I'm not going to name the Cyclist organization or motor. because I'm not a cop. Um, <laughs> three strippers. Oh. A homeless dog. Um, the dog only had three legs too. Oh, just, almost you know, three legged dog. Yeah, yeah. It was in the other side of um, one of the surrounding counties. It wasn't my home county, but it was the one that has the gentleman's club. That, yeah, you know, you you know the one if I'm you're familiar. From here. Yep. Oh, geez, this um, is, I know we exactly didn't go the there one. because been I was with the lady were, I was dating. But been hearing those on the radio forever. Yeah, and it was like two thirty, two forty five in the morning. And everyone in there, including the wait staff, looked incredibly hungover. <laughs> It was the food was just top tier, and mm-hmm. we did find a home for the doggo. Yes, right. See, you know, I was hoping that's day. where the story so, ended. Yeah, that was a great Waffle House experience. Even though you know, it, not because of Buster, that was what I named the mm-hmm. doggo, mm-hmm. but because of you know the food. See, I think the only thing better than whenever you're walking in and you see the cook flick the cigarette out, that's when you can already get excited. Like, mm-hmm. yes, it's going to be awesome. The only thing better than that, I think, is probably seeing a fight happening. Like, as you're <laughs> oh, pulling yeah. out of the parking lot, yeah. like, if someone in a Waffle House uniform is fighting another person that isn't, your experience is going to be so good. Did y'all ever see the video of the Waffle House? Uh, I guess oh, waitress, the perfect she, Perry. Yeah, where she catches the chair and just spins yes. it out of the way and like comes at this dude. One fluid movement hit yeah. go, and she's like over the no, counter. No, it didn't awesome. hit her. She grabbed the leg of it, oh, bro. Yeah, because like it was a big dude, like yeah. three times her size. He's like, and he chucks it, and she just grabs it, like twirls it, and sits it down. Like mm-hmm. nothing. It was amazing. That's what this happens so when you roll that nat twenty, baby. They actually train their Waffle House employees that if a fight is going to occur, pull them onto the tile in the kitchen because that's like slippy. Well, it's protected because like if something happens to an employee while they're on that kitchen tile, Waffle House covers it. Whereas if they're on the pedestrian tile and something happens, it's a little bit harder, more on their side. Is that real or a myth? On TikTok, whenever that clip was first circulating of the girl like perfect dodging the chair, a Waffle House employee or ex-Waffle House employee came here and said it. So I I didn't look it up. I've never, I don't ask questions of the deep magics of the Waffle House. Right, right, right. I just accept their word as law. (laughs) That's how it stops existing. (laughs) There is a single... And you know what? F*** a Huddle House. 
Yeah, I, see, yeah. I hate Huddle, Huddle House. House is garbage. Gosh, it's that awful. is a wannabe. That is a poser. Yeah. Poser. It's, they it's clean like, their bathrooms. What it's do you expect? the suburban, yeah. Yeah. like, clean version of the white trash Waffle House. Like, the closer a trailer park is to a Waffle House, the better. Yeah. yeah. And I only find Huddle Houses in upscale neighborhoods, and the flu- food is just bland. Yeah. And my feet don't stick to the floor. Exactly. <laughs> I have I'm, no traction in a Huddle House. I, I <laughs> once, without question, picked a toothpick up that I had dropped out of my mouth off the floor and put it back in my mouth in a Huddle House. House. Mm-hmm. I watched this happen, and it was very upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> very upsetting. I was happy that I'd already eaten because it was the worst. I just looked at him, and I i think it's the first time in my life I stuttered because I couldn't say the words <laughs> because there were so many flooding into my brain in that moment. He just threw a flashbang into your forehead. He did. And like you just you were stunned for a yes, second. Yes, with stunned a floor you. toothpick. What am I supposed but to I do? do under- for another toothpick? But I under- <laughs> I understand now. They charge for those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, at so Wolf House, the they just had the little dispenser because they know you're not touching that thing twice. No, no. Yeah. absolutely not. So would we open up our own Huddle, or huddle House? Waffle no, house? I apologize for that statement. Waffle yeah. House yeah, franchise? Yeah, you deserve that. Yeah, I really do. We have again. a dispensary next to a Waffle House. Yes. Because like, whenever it becomes legal in state of home function like a disp- we'll have a taco bell a waffle house and a dispensary right next to each other and we'll franchise them all yeah so we just have that regenerative oh income. my god Ooh. and you know what we yeah. could do we can call it blockbuster blockbuster <laughs> oh no there's still bust this block boy no that's the catchphrase or the high-rise shopping center oh w- that's good why, would, why wouldn't you just call it the grapevine True. Uh, well, it's, that's, that's too easy. Multiple no, segments of the easy. great, but the thing we should do on the back of the dispensary, in between the Waffle House and the Taco Bell, magic mm-hmm. cards, is have uh, a plethora of Bucky's. <laughs> <laughs> have a plethora of Bucky's style, always in supreme condition bathrooms that you have to pay. To access. Oh yeah. no, I can't do no, that. See, look, I, can't. No, I gotta no. give this. No, absolutely no, not. Tiny, no. I vote against it. In I'll... my America, we don't charge no. to use the bathroom. You get to use that's the nice. A, it we'll, pay you. European, we'll pay you to European use our bathroom. Yes. Propaganda. As long yeah. as you're a customer, yeah. you can use them. Well, it's that's free. fine no. if you're a customer. Sort of. We'll give you the Aldi quarter. Yeah, you get it's a special bathroom token. Bathroom token. I'm okay with the Aldi quarter style thing. That's fine, but what? I am yeah, not. Yeah, you get it back when you're done. People. Exactly. No, I'll pay you to use my nice bathroom. Yeah. So, so what I've heard is we're going to set up a shopping center block and have yes. a dispensary, a uh, Waffle House to talk about a game store. Yes, game yeah. store. Absolutely. Uh, a place where we can podcast, like a set a building studio. Well, we've already got that. We just right. we just build onto. Our strip mall studio. We yeah. just purchased so, the rest of the strip mall. Yeah. So we're gonna have I forgot the Great Vine strip about mall. Our strip mall studio oh, yeah. that we're actually podcasting in. Oh, yeah, the lore. <laughs> the lore. Yeah. I got to keep up with our own lore. Gosh, the lore's getting so deep. It's because we're, we're always into shit up to our knees. Well, when we're, we're, we're trying to hide our location so the raisins don't come and get us. You know, exactly. We got to keep our the top secret headquarters. And you know, so they're listening. wrinkled face assassins are just those Emperor Palpatines are trying to get us, man. Yeah, they're deadly. <laughs> Them testicle they are, nuts. They're fully. Testiculized. <laughs> and all you raisins can back off because this episode's over with. You've got another week to plan out your next assassination attempt. And we're ready. And we're so ready. Oh, God. Thank you. My for, body is ready. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Otto, first off, thank you for being here again. Hey, it's no problem. It's perfect, I love this. I didn't edition. realize that an hour had already passed. I thought we were just starting. I was going to be ready to keep I, going. Man, when, when there's. Two grapes in a sack. When You've the juice, now been a guest grape twice in the sack. The juice is fully flowing. It's I can so feel flowing. the cosmic grapevine Absolutely. tapping into my, my nut sack. Yes. Mm. <laughs> or my butthole. Sorry, my, my butthole. Oops, my butthole, butthole. Just the whole region. The, whole, the grundle, you know. <laughs> yeah. And all of you out there who just listened to us do whatever that was for an hour, thank you for wherever you're listening to us on. Give us five grapes wherever you're at. Five grapes. Tell everybody why you love us or why you hate us. I don't care about that part just as long as there are five grapes and then go buy a t-shirt or a, 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 there's probably a hat on there i think there's like a duffel bag there's a wacky there's a wacky set of stuff the, the crop you, top the crop top there's a good looking crop top on there there's a full print kind of situation red bubble teespring the links are in the description i don't you don't even have to go to the internet you just got to click on that and it should take you where you need to go and if you want to talk to us, get on our social medias, get on our Facebook, our Instagram, or our Twitter by looking up at Nerd Grapevine. In case you have any questions about the gifts that have arrived at your house and you don't know where they came from, like, 
why in the world does Taylor Swift on Sandy's front porch with a guitar right now? Yeah, because she's hot. Why? Why we is did that, it? Why is it happening? Why? Why did? Why did the Grapevine Cowboy Kevin Busby receive a purple Gibson guitar? Because he's mm-hmm. hot. There we go. You know, it's just they're all hot. Jessica, why did you get a Jeep Wrangler that has the wheels that turn sideways? <laughs> <laughs> like it's just it's it's all purple because we love you. Get on there, talk to us about how you would spend your money if you had a limitless amount of money and how you would nerd out. Because I, I mean, I'm interested to know. It's a simple conversation to have. Just get on there and talk to me about it. Um, you know, I, I'm always on the the Facebook trying to talk to people about that kind of stuff. Dane's on the Twitter and the Instagram taking care of that stuff. So conversate. Find out what we've done wrong as well. Because, <laughs> so many things. Because I don't know how well we kept it secret just then. So um, uh, get on Patreon. Donate a little bit to the cause. Uh, get a shiny holographic nerd at the Grapevine sticker. Uh, unlock some access to stuff that we might not have released straight out forward to the public. You know, private access stuff. You know, we, may, we might have some rough cuts that you might want to hear or we're just being absolute idiots where we don't want the entirety of the world to know, but you paid for it, so you get it. <laughs> Live on $5, that yeah, was it. Yeah, you know, it, it'd be great. Just get on Patreon, look up Nerd Grapevine, and that would be a great big help. We also want to be able to actually fund some stuff because every bit of stuff we do for Nerd at the Grapevine, it always comes directly out of our pockets, and we'd like to be able to fund some stuff and actually go out and do eventually one of these days, and Patreon would be the perfect way to help out your favorite grapes. Uh, but whatever you do, do not try to you know, lie about what you're spending the money on and then getting yourself caught in a trap by your, by your husband because you've accidentally given too much money to these four dudes that you're wanting to see more content from, and all of a sudden it turns into some kind of weird scheme. And, oh, oh my God, what's this pictures of Tiny's feet and you caused them to have... I'm glad this episode's about over with because I'm going to have to go make a grumpy real soon. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's just not going to be good. But also, Smothered, covered in chunk, baby. Absolutely. I don't even have Waffle House today. I kind of want Waffle House. But I kind of want it you now. Summoned yeah, it really you summoned it onto you. I know. Yeah. It's just... Uh, but go down in the description of the episode in the show notes and find a link to our Discord. We're on there. We've got memes. We've got all kinds of stuff. You can talk to me or any of the other grapes. We're on there live, uncut, uncensored, and irrevocably circumcised. Also, you're going to be able to find Elseworld editions of the show on YouTube very soon. Hopefully within a week or two. Mm-hmm. There's, there, we're having some troubles, it's but work. it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. But it's also going to be irrevocably circumcised. <laughs> yeah, it Just is. Just throwing that in there. Um, here at the end, I want to do two things real Go. quick. Uh, first, hi, Mom. Sorry about the swearing. <laughs> uh, uh, I love you. Sometimes it's necessary. And also, um, a little bit of a shout-out. I don't know if they'll hear this. Uh, Haunter, I barely know her. Yeah. Zoe and Katie, they have actually, as of the 26th, they, their life got really busy, and they had to uh, put their show on hiatus for a while. Mm-hmm. And I just want to say, because I know we've shouted them out, I think maybe we share some audiences. Oh, yeah. That I just want to give them that shout-out that they became a really big, about the same time I was listening to y'all, I started listening to them. So it's been kind of like a big part of my podcast life and like whenever some things in my life were changing. No, but, I, I stayed pissed off for weeks because of that podcast. I mean, it's it's yeah. abs- it, it absolutely crushed my viewpoint of Ed and Lorraine Warren, and they did a good job doing so. So right. and I, congrats. I just, just wanted to give them a little shout out. And they said that they may bring it back if like their lives calm down. But like knowing both of them personally, like they have a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. But just want to give them a little shout out and a little awesome. Hey, you know what? You? I like that. Also, I want to I want to say hello to Sally and Keita. I miss you, girls. I mean, you know, yeah. I miss your show, uh, Homicide Worldwide. Mm. It was it was becoming one of my favorite true crime episodes and or shows, and it yeah. just it ended before I was ready. I, I know it's, uh, there's been some grumblings over there, but I just want you all to know I love you all and I miss you. Austin, uh, thank you for listening to the show. I miss you and I appreciate you being there. Sorry to bring the mood down right there. No, <laughs> and you didn't. <laughs> Not no. at all. How did you know that heartfelt. I haven't listened? I'm just saying. I just come back. Okay, I only listen to part of the episode. Baby, sometimes. come back. I want Otto to ask the question this week. Ooh. He's he mm. deserves it. Okay, okay. Tiny. <gasps> oh, if you were gifted a magnitude of grapes and you had to keep them hidden and only flaunt them in small ways, how would you do so? Okay. So first, I would you know buy a purple fridge to keep them in, you right. know, so they can maintain freshness. Yeah. 
Oh. No, that's good. That's yeah. really good. No, I was I like expecting that. a second part of that. I mean, it'll, it'll that's probably, really all you need. Though, yeah, yeah, right. it probably have a butthole kind of opening in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's one like of the, them, those gel fridges, like, you just kind of shove it in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah one much. of them could fall out of the fridge and roll its way into the sun and become a raisin, and then get hired and by that, Waffle House. That's when I light it on fire because. No yeah. raisins in my house. No, they're they're at Waffle House. For You're in their house time. now. You're in their house now. Another, I've never seen a raisin got, in a Waffle House. You have worked hard, hard enough. Well, you worked hard enough. I bring weapons. I shoved a Waffle House in my ass. What? <laughs> In my America, we don't charge no. to use the bathroom. You get to use the bathroom. We'll, we'll pay you to European use our bathroom. European yes. propaganda. As long yeah. as you're a customer, yeah. you can use them. Well, it's that's free. fine no. if you're a customer. Sort of. We'll give you the Aldi quarter.